Hey, Supreme Boxing fans, my name is Anna Aguilar, and I am here with Gilberto Suro Ramirez. How are you? I'm great. I'm great now. Uh, stay here in the Magnifico Boxing Gym, and I'm happy to be here. And you're still the WBO Super Middleweight Champion. Um, you took that title from Arthur Abraham, a great, great fight, by the way. Um, but unfortunately, after that, you, you messed up your hand, and you had to be in surgery. So now it's been a year a year. How is your hand and how has the recovery journey been? My recovery, that was great, great. And now my hand is really 100% and I'm really happy to back in the ring on April 22nd. And, and I can't wait for that moment because I can't wait to, to use my hand now because they fixed my hand and I feel better than before. How long did it take for you to finally get back into the gym and start um, being able to work out for a, for a fight? At the beginning, I uh, four months, four months to 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 start in the, the gym, like uh, doing the strength condition, and everything, and after that, six six seven months to start hitting, yeah. the punching back, and eight months eight months to start uh, doing the sparring. And I feel great now because I, I don't feel pain, my pain free and I don't feel nothing. I'm really confident about my hands and I, I feel better than before, like I say. Are you just ready to hit something? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> April 22nd, um, you're going to you'll be fighting Max Busek from Ukraine. Um, what do you see in your opponent um, that you know that you have to avoid and, and showcase that you are still and deserve to be the WBO super middleweight champion. I want to keep my belt. I see the really fluctuant fight. He come, uh, whatever he bring to the table, I want to pass in front of him. And I think I expect a really good fight for me. And, and, and he's a tough fighter. And he's always he trying to look him forward the, the, the fight. And, and I'm, re I'm really, uh, I prepare re really good for, for this opponent. And we take a, a sparring like the same style and like the same taller than him. And, and like I said, I feel really confident about my, my, my team, my, my preparation. Aside of f uh, being physically disciplined, how do you get disciplined mentally? Well, because my team, Always we stay, we we try to keep uh, talking about the, the the next opponent, the the, op, the this opponent. Uh, always we trying to keep uh, talking about the, the what what is next for me and everything. They uh, always they they come down and. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do you ever have to step aside alone, aside of your team, and just get in a zone in your own way and and maybe repeat like a, a quote that you know or um, a verse or something that that you're just like this is th this is my moment and you know I have to gain my confidence because obviously confidence is a big thing to put into to bring into the ring uh, all the time when I when I going to to the bed to sleep always I try I I think about the, my night my night my, the, my fight and and everything and and I enjoy that moment because when I stay along, I, I try to, to think about everything, to what is the next for me, what is, what is coming, and it's really motivated for me. And now you don't have anything holding you back. you got your hand completely healed, and now you're ready to come back. And um, now I have something I have to, I'm going to read this, if you don't mind. I'm going to have to read it because it's in Spanish. But, but I promised you a question in Spanish, right? Yo estoy practicando mi español, así como... Tú estás practicando tu inglés. No, no, no. Thank you. ¿Tienes un mensaje para tus uh, fanáticos? Sí, muchas gracias a toda la gente, muchas gracias a todos los fanáticos porque siempre me apoyan. Les debo mucho y les quiero, la, les quiero dedicar la pelea porque ellos siempre están ahí para mí. Gracias, Gilberto. En uh, buenos suertes.